Hey everyone, this is Jason Dunn from Digital Home Thoughts and today I'm doing an unboxing and first impressions video of the new HP HDX Notebook PC. So as you can tell, this uh, very big box here contains this very sizable notebook. Uh, this notebook has an 18.4 uh, inch diagonal screen uh, and a 1920 by 1080p resolution. So it's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio screen, which means it's the same aspect ratio of, say, your high definition television set. Um, this is so big, uh, it's a little bit too hard to unbox on camera, so when I come back in a second, I will have the box out of the way, and we'll take a look at the actual notebook inside. All right, and we're back. So, here's everything that comes in the box that does not include the uh, boring paperwork. Uh, of note is that there are no optical discs in any of the packaging, you know, so there's no uh, no CDs or DVDs. Um, if you need to factory restore uh, this laptop, there's actually a, a function on the hard drive that can do it and like other uh, similar HP products that I've looked at in the past, you can actually build your own recovery disks. So let's get on to the good stuff. So this is the 8 cell battery. Uh, it is a uh, 73 watt hour battery, so it's fairly hefty. But as you can imagine on a, on a uh, notebook this big, uh, this is a little bit more like a UPS. Um, I have no idea yet how the battery life is, but I'd be very shocked if it lasted any longer than an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So, very big battery. Uh, next, uh, equally big, we have this honking uh, power supply. So this is what, of course, you plug in to power the notebook. And I'm just looking to see if I can find um, the uh, wattage on it. I can't seem to find any watts, um, yeah, sorry, there it is, 120 watts, yeah, so 120 watts, uh, that's that's a lot of power, uh, and that's why this brick is so big, and why it's so much bigger than your average uh, little notebook, because uh, this, this thing will pull 120 watts, potentially. Uh, now, we have some uh, headphones, nothing too special there, and then we have the little remote control, this remote control actually uh, slides into um, the uh, express card bay, uh, express card port on this laptop. And I do notice that there's actually a little uh, wheel here. That, that's actually kind of cool. I haven't actually seen that before. All right, without further ado, let's unveil this beast of a notebook. So you can see it actually comes in this sort of soft, fuzzy sleeve, which I think is actually, is actually pretty cool. And um, here we go, the unveil of the new gadget. Wow, I totally dig that finish. Um, try to get it without without some of the glare here, but it's a very uh, it's a really attractive finish. It's sort of a steel gray. Um, the the notebook itself has a bit of a titanium uh, finish, and I've seen that in the um, in the uh, the product specs. I'm just gonna turn it over here. Um, this is. Uh, I guess the second biggest notebook I've ever done in a boxing on camera, so it's a little bit physically awkward, and I apologize if I make some noise when I'm turning it over. The uh, battery port is right up here. So I'm just going to try to put the battery in. There we go. So the battery snaps in. Uh, this is um, actually this is kind of cool. Right here, it says that this is the uh, HP uh, Triple Base Reflex Subwoofer. So that's kind of cool. So they've obviously uh, because this is, you know, a multimedia uh, kind of laptop, they've obviously put a lot of effort into making the uh, sound quality. Um, I imagine behind here is where you maybe would replace uh, the hard drive or, um, you know, the system RAM. Let's sort of turn this over here. Um, so you have a, a microphone input jack right here. You have a dual, dual headphone input jacks, a USB port. Uh, we have an optical drive here. Uh, this one is a, a Blu-ray uh, player as well as a uh, regular DVD burner. We have another USB port here, a, uh, a power port, and um, I see a little TV icon here. It's a little bit hard to make out. Uh, it doesn't look like anything is there. I do know that there's an option, uh, if you order this product in the United States, there's an option that allows you to um, include an HD TV tuner. So over here again we have a Kensington lock, we have a VGA output port, we have uh, HP's custom docking station port, Ethernet port, uh, HDMI which of course is awesome because you can hook it up to a, a TV or a monitor directly. We have an eSATA port, equally awesome, that means you can uh, hook it up to an eSATA 
external drive and get some really impressive speed. We have um, another, US, or, uh, another USB port here, and then we also have a FireWire port. So uh, that's great to see now. So even though the new Macs don't have FireWire ports, there's still a lot of FireWire cameras out there today, and HP supporting that, which I think is excellent. And then uh, this is the Express Card slot. It looks like it's an Express Card 54 slot, which is great because that means that um, you can use some of the bigger Express Card adapters. Now, let's open this beast up. Okay, we have a little keyboard protector here. Now, um, this is a very, very big notebook, and it's really hard for me to actually fit it all on camera, but as you can see, um, the, uh, the fit and finish on the outside extends to the inside here, so it's a really, really nice design. Um, I, I really like this, actually. You know, design's always a, a personal choice, but I definitely dig the way this looks. It's got, of course, uh, because it's so big, it has a full-size keyboard, and it has a, a dedicated uh, number pad, you know. So uh, this is pretty typical of, you know, 17-inch and higher uh, notebooks. What jumps out at me right away, of course, are all these stupid, ugly stickers. Um, <laughs> you know, again, I think that if anyone's buying a premium notebook, the last thing they want is to have all these cheesy stickers on here. Um, but anyway, that's just my own opinion. Now, the screen, let's do a little camera move here. The screen itself, uh, as I mentioned, uh, is 18.4 inches across. It's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, uh, which means it's the same aspect ratio as like your uh, high def TV. Uh, and the resolution is 1920 by 1080. So it's essentially 1080p resolution, which means you can uh, view, you know, Blu-ray discs and everything else without losing any, any quality or, you know, downsampling. And then uh, right up at the top here, I'll just zoom in a little bit. We also have a, uh, a webcam. So this, this, this right here is an HP uh, webcam. My camera can't seem to focus there. Too many reflections. Uh, that is an HP webcam, and uh, I'm not 100% sure on the resolution. I'm going to hit the power button here. I'm not 100% sure if the battery's charged. Ah, it looks like it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here. Let's reposition the camera a bit. Um, you see all these uh, buttons light up here. So we actually have... Um, you know, the play, pause, uh, eject buttons, volume control, uh, you know, we have a volume slider, treble bass control, which is something you don't see in very many laptops, and then there's an icon there for um, the Wi-Fi. Now, I'll zoom out a little bit. Um, basically, this laptop came to me on loan by um, HP Canada. And the laptop is a little bit different in Canada than it is in the U.S. The uh, Canadian version, so this version that I received, is uh, Windows Vista Home Premium 64-bit. Uh, it has uh, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, two 2 gig chips. It has uh, an Intel uh, Core 2 Duo processor at 2.26 gigahertz with 3 megs of cache. It's got a single 320 gigabyte 5400 RPM hard drive. As I mentioned, uh, Blu-ray reader, you know, a DVD burner, light scribe. It has a gigabit Ethernet, um, Intel Wi-Fi, uh, 5100 AGN, so very flexible in terms of uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, the four USB ports um, and the graphics card on this. Um, it's essentially it's an, it's an Nvidia graphics card. Now, I'm having a hard time finding exactly what it is on the, uh, on the Canadian one. Um, on the American side of things, it, you, it's an NVIDIA GeForce 9600M GT. In the US, however, you can specify to either have 512 RAM or actually um, uh, nine, uh, 1 gig of RAM. And on the US side of things, you can also actually go all the way up to a Core 2 uh, quad processor, the, the QX9300, which is a 2.53 uh, gigahertz processor. You cannot get that uh, in Canada, which is kind of unfortunate. You can also get uh, two 500 gig hard drives. You can actually get a full terabyte of storage, uh, 5400 RPM and speed. Uh, now, if you, if you totally pimp out the unit and get everything as expensive and as high as you can, in the U.S. right now today, when I did the pricing, it's a 3556 Dollars, so just about thirty-six hundred dollars U.S. The um, Canadian version uh, is a fair bit cheaper. It's somewhere around twenty-one hundred dollars Canadian, although I will have to verify that. 
At any rate, uh, this has been a very a real quick initial impressions um, of this unit. It's obviously very big, uh, very, very powerful. Uh, this is the kind of unit that you would use you know, maybe in a college dorm room or, you know, really this would be sort of a, a desktop replacement uh, computer. So I'm going to be taking a closer look at it. You know, I'm going to run some benchmarks on it, going to check it out a little bit more detail. But for now, this has been Jason Dunn from Digital Home Thoughts. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and rate the video. Thanks a lot.